Hi everyone, my name is Charlene Habermeyer and I'm the owner and creator of Good Parenting Brighter Children. For the next 90 days, I'm going to be posting a three to five minute short little segment each day on YouTube. It's entitled Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents and is prior to me launching my podcast in mid-January. Let me give you a little background on Good Parenting Brighter Children. I started blogging in October of 2017 under the name Good Parenting Brighter Children. And I have six different categories that help parents and give them different ideas and ways and suggestions of how they can write, raise brighter children. Those categories are parenting, of course, and books and music and nutrition and traditions and grandparenting. And each one of them focus on not only how to raise a brighter child, but how to raise a stable child, a successful child, and an emotionally stable child. Because we all know that you can have the brightest child in the block or on the planet, but if there's a lot of emotional issues, then that detracts from their abilities to be successful and be happy and so forth. So those are the, the, those are the six categories. I'll tell you a little bit of how I got started in this. I actually began uh, taking classes and reading books when I was in college. I believe that there's a silver lining in every cloud and my cloud was I didn't come from an exactly an ideal home and so what I wanted to do is I wanted to change the things from my childhood and make it better for my own children. So I began studying and reading books and taking classes as I mentioned and also observing parents and mothers who I thought were amazing and successful in what they were doing. I finished college, I got married and eventually we started having a family. And then all of a sudden I realized that those years and years of reading books and talking to people and taking classes, that was theoretical knowledge, okay? I was basically in the bleachers looking down at all the action going on in the arena. But now when I held this little baby in my arms and I started and he started to get bigger, all of a sudden I was in the arena. I was getting the blood, sweat and tears. And so all of the knowledge that I had gained, I tried to put into practice all the observations of all those incredible mothers I put into practice. And I also had some of my own um, common sense kick in. So 40 years later and five sons later, um, I feel like I have five amazing, amazing children. Being in the trenches for 40 years, you raise children once a mother, always a mother, and you raise them when they're young, and then you continue being a mother when they become adults, and now I'm a mother of adult children. We've had our blips and glitches and challenges along the way. I had a son who died of a severe brain disorder. I also had a son who was diagnosed with severe learning disabilities. And I also had a son who had taught himself to read at the age of two. So I've experienced a lot of different things that I want to take the time and share with you as well. And I think that um, you can share back with me and that I can continue learning because that's what life is. It's a whole huge constant learning curve. That's my background of parenting. Let me give you a little background of my education. <clears throat> I have a bachelor's degree in art with an emphasis in design. I have a master's degree in education from Pepperdine University. I taught college for 10 years. I also have three certifications in nutrition. I took 31 classes and studied both Eastern and Western approaches to nutrition and, and um, medicine. Um, I've written a book, Good Music, Brighter Children. It was published in 1999 by Prima Publishing and it was translated into five languages. Then it was republished again in 2014 with 65% new material. Also in 1999, I started a community orchestra in Palos Verdes, California. And the step-by-steps, if you're interested in starting an orchestra, you can read all about it in my book, Good Music, Brighter Children. Since the early 80s, I uh, have lectured across the United States at colleges, universities, for international and national parenting organizations, homeschooling organizations, regular schools, and so forth, about all of the different tidbits and things that I'm going to be talking to you about, particularly in the areas of music and books, because those are so important if you want to raise a brighter child, a happy child, a successful child. So that's a little bit about my background. Um, what I want to know is about you and what makes you tick as a parent. And so I'm going to ask you this question and I'll leave you with this question. Define parenting in three words. 
Now that's not that easy because I think most of us, if we were to ask to find parenting three words, we could probably give a hundred different words on different aspects of parenting. So narrow it down to three words, the three most important things that you feel define parenting. Share it in the comments section below. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.